Gilman passed it around, and a bounce shot for Shannon Booth scores, and Stonehill is on top, 1-0. Back and forth with Pleshaw, now Booth looking inside, she's got a top corner goal again, a multi-goal game already, just two and a half minutes in, Shannon Booth has control for the Skyhawks. Booth coming right up and has a teammate right in the middle. That's Jennifer Wheaton with a third stop. Down pass beyond the goal line extended. Up in the middle, Wheaton has her second goal of the game, and Stonehill is up 4 0. They'll send Caitlin Healy outside. Now, a quick pass, bounce, save by Bailey Herr. Nobody along the goal line to pass to, so she goes right at it. Stop made by Hunt. Stonehill picks up the ground ball and scores. Mackenzie Plashaw with her seventh goal of the season and the sixth of the day for Stonehill. Sweeney holding the stick out to the right. Found some room and scored. Had a couple of defenders both on her right. Stonehill has not been able to get in here. Vetter though gets the pass right in the middle and bounces it in. Stonehill back on the board to take a 7-3 lead. Right out in front, low shot score for Wilbert. Four different goal scorers on the four goals for Franklin Pierce. Ryan looking, found a path, found a goal. Stonehill back up by four. Now Shanahan looking for a shot, bounces it around Hunt and scores to give Stonehill a nine. Wilbert receives the pass in the middle, goes low and scores. Right towards the goal, takes the shot and finds the back of the net. A 10-5 advantage as Shannon Booth has gotten Stonefield, Stonehill a five goal advantage again. That's a hat trick for her. Leading goal scorer in the game. She's also got two assists on the day. Things down since being able to score at will very early. And now here's Healy with another goal. Six seconds remaining and Stonehill leads 13 to five. It's huge to like open any 10 play with like two big wins, especially coming down from Florida. Uh, we played like Rollins, which is ranked very high. And then we had Post that was ranked very high. So we like had very good competition right away. And we're playing a lot of freshmen right now. So like to have those huge games for them early is like really hard. So they played really well. And like they've been playing like their um, upperclassmen. We just like had it where I could play, um, I could call plays really loud. So it worked out really well where I'm just um, trying to like lead the attack. But everyone, like um, Elizabeth Vetter, Biddy is like super great up there. And she's a little bit more so Spock soft-spoken, but she does a great job of, like, leading by example, and same with, like, Taylor Shanahan, and our defense is probably one of the best defenses in the NE10, probably the whole nation, so that has made us, like, so much better, um, like, you can really see the improvement, like, from the beginning, we got, they used to turn over the ball on us all the time, and we used to, like, throw away passes, it was, like, really bad, but, like, now we're, like, getting goals, and, like, I think that's doing wonders for our confidence against, like, these NE10 opponents, which we like did step off the gas a lot on against CNAs on Thursday and today we like really made it a focus to play like full 60 minutes of lacrosse and we did like a lot much, a lot better job than previously. Um, Adelphi is huge, um, they're really good and I think like this year we've been playing not scared, like we didn't come out scared against Rollins and we haven't been scared against Post and we've been continuing that and I think we should continue it against the Delphi. I think it's a good start and like you know it's early so we're just hoping we get better every game every week I mean that's the focus it's I have to remind myself that we're not supposed to be playing our best lacrosse in March like I have to talk myself off the ledge a little bit but I think our defense is playing really really strong and I think you know having a new goalie in there now is it's just so important and they're doing their job and they're doing it really pretty well um, and thankfully we've been able to start out really really strong against both teams um, offensively and you know our goal is to just make sure we can do that for 60 minutes hopefully I mean we started out really strong against St. A's and then we tanked I mean we just had to like kind of hold on and then you know we did figure it out in the second half of this game I think a little bit better than we had in the past and that's what you know I have to just remind myself that that's how this is all supposed to work you know but we got to get better and we got to get smarter and I think we just like we need to get more aggressive on offense because when we're aggressive all seven kids are really 
a problem for people, mm. you know? And so that's the mentality that we have to have. Um, and, you know, I think it's just going to come, I, I think it's going to come game by game and practice by practice. Talk about Shannon a little bit. Yeah. And that she's your senior in, in that attack group and has really taken on that role here, especially these last two games and, and really led that group, which besides her and Betta, really young. Yeah. No, you're right. I mean, we have a huge senior class, but our senior class, especially on the attacking end, really doesn't have a lot of game experience. So Shannon has hopped in, and she's taken over that role, and in the last two games, she's done a very, very good job. I mean, she obviously started out so strong, and she had a really great game for us today, which is important. But she's the one that has to kind of keep everybody else like on point and together during these attack sets in the middle of the game. And I think that that's something just like, I think it's good. And I think even today was just a little bit better than it was on Thursday. And, you know, we hope, we hope by next week, it's a little bit better than that. You know, I think she's learning and figuring it out. And again, it's just, hopefully it's only going to get better. I mean, I think like Jen Wheaton and Mackenzie Plesha, both those kids just have really, really good instincts. They're just athletes and they're good look and they're just really bright. So those are kids that the, they, and we know that like they're going to make a million mistakes, but we're going to keep them in there and they're going to continue to make mistakes because with that, you know, they figure a lot of things out along the way too. And, um, I don't know, I think those two are going to be some pretty great players. You know, they just need a little more time under their belt. And Caitlin Healy, yeah. kind of both sides, you know, yeah, has, Kate, has, has, has been important. To Katie's know. nuts. I mean, if Katie's one of those kids that I felt like this when I watched her for years in high school too, it's not like she's this kind of like stud that's putting up tons of numbers, but you would know a difference if she wasn't on the field. You know, she rides so well. She's so incredibly fast. She's starting to figure out the defense and getting a little bit better there. And she's another kid that we just, we want her to keep shooting, you know, but those, those three kids are going to continue to see a lot of playing time. They're really great athletes. Um, this week it's at Adelphi, yeah. and you know, bigger than that. So right. just obviously get, take these two wins and hopefully get the confidence built Absolutely. up heading into that. Yeah, and you do your best, right? You see what they give you, you do your very best, and you make sure that you're playing your game on your end, you know? And you put up a fight, and you expect, you know, you expect this game to be really, really physical. So we just hope we answer, and we stay physical, and we return the favor, and, you know, and it's a good game. It's a game to grow, it's a game to build, and hopefully it's a game to, you know, succeed and celebrate.